This instrument has two substantial oscillator units. Oscillator 1 is found on top and oscillator 2 is on the bottom. As the oscillators are completely identical in structure and parameters, we will only discuss them once. Each oscillator unit has a dynamic wave shape display. As the oscillator parameters are adjusted, this display will reflect the current wave shape generated by this oscillator. The pitch of an oscillator can be adjusted by a perfect fifth up or down. That's all, seven minus seven semitones and seven semitones. Below this pitch knob is an octave switch in organ foot notation. From the default setting, the oscillator can be set from two octaves down to three octaves up or any octave in between. The shape control allows you to plant three distinct waves. At the center position, you get only a sawtooth wave at the current pitch. Moving from the center position to the left, crossfades into a pulse wave that is one octave up. Moving from the center position to the right, crossfades into a saw that is one octave up. Below this shape knob is a pulse width control that affects both the pulse wave at the left position and the sawtooth at the right position. A sub pulse wave that is one octave down can also be blended in. Below the sub level knob is a pulse width control for the sub wave. Each oscillator unit can also be synchronized to a tunable oscillator. The sync knob controls the frequency of the master sync oscillator as an offset from the oscillator's unit's pitch, from 0 semitones up to 60 semitones. The reset button beneath the sync knob causes the oscillator unit to return to its initial phase for each incoming note. Next, the lower control determines the number of voices used for each note played by this oscillator unit. Settings range from one voice up to 16 voices per note. When more than one voice is active here, the unison knob above becomes active, allowing you to set the maximum detuning per voice from no detuning up to a full semitone. And beside unison is a control for oscillator width, which is also enabled when the oscillator is using more than one voice. This control adjusts the panoramic spread between the various oscillator voices in use. And Beneath the width control is a panning setting for this one oscillator. The next section starts with various blend operator options at the top of the device. The operator selected determines how oscillator 1 and 2 are mixed together into a composite signal. Options on the top row offer slight variations on the standard mixing crossfading approach and the choices on the bottom row are a bit more exotic and surprising. While trying out these unique combinations, don't forget that this parameter 2 can be a modulation target. A short note on each blend operator. Mix is a linear mix of oscillator 1 and 2. NEG is a linear mix of oscillator 1 and a negated version of oscillator 2, potentially creating phase cancellation. Wipe is a mix of oscillator 1 and 2, but using a slightly nonlinear ramp resulting in stronger signals at the extremes. AM is, of course, amplitude modulation of oscillator 1 from oscillator 2. The 1 and 2 knob, or the mix knob, is essentially an attenuator for how much modulation is being applied to oscillator 1. Sine is a mix of oscillator 1 and the version of oscillator 2 that has oscillators 1 polarity applied to it. And max is a mix of oscillator 1 and a hybrid signal reflecting the maximum level of oscillator 1 and 2. The section below is a grab bag of features that primarily relate to the blend and mixing of the instrument's generator units. In the first row, the 1 and 2 knob controls the blend between oscillator 1 and oscillator 2, using the blend operator that was selected above. The noise knob then controls the balance between both oscillators and the white noise generator. And the final knob on this row is actually a control for the filter section. This filter FM parameter allows an audible rate oscillator of fixed frequency to modulate the filter cutoff frequency. The second row of this section starts with an optional high pass filter that comes after the signal sources are blended. The first parameter contains both a cutoff frequency control and a mode selector via the drop down menu beneath the knob. The next knob is a resonance control for this high pass filter. And the last is a pre filter drive control for either amplifying or attenuating the blended signal at the end of the stage. 
The next section deals with the instrument's filter module. The first control sets the filters mode. This graphical control at the top can toggle between seven filter types. A gentle low pass filter, a four pole low pass filter, a gentle band pass filter, a four pole band pass filter, a gentle high pass filter, a four pole high pass filter, and a band reject filter respectively. The following row includes filter controls for the cutoff frequency, the amount of resonance being applied, a wave shaping control, a keyboard tracking control that determines how much the cutoff frequency is controlled by the incoming node pitches, and the control for how much and at what slope the filter envelope generator affects the cutoff frequency. And don't forget the filter FM control that lives in the previous section and was mentioned there. The odd control out in the last row was the wave shaping parameter in the center. This nonlinear distortion offers several modes in the drop down menu beneath the amount knob. If you want more or less of this effect, try adjusting the drive control from the previous section, or even modulate drive and or the shaper amount. Below the filter section are the instrument's two envelope generators. The filter envelope generator FEG is normal to the filter cutoff frequency via the EG attenuator knob in the filter section. The amplitude envelope generator AEG controls the instrument's main amplifier. Both envelope generators can also be used as modulation signals for other purposes by using their modulation routing buttons. And each envelope generator has standard attack, decay, sustain and release controls of their own. The final parameter section contains four knobs controls for velocity sensitivity, gain, panning and output level. The Polysynt also has two device chains you can use. The first one is called Node, a chain for processing incoming node messages before they reach this device. So you can apply some node effects or maybe you can create some chords in it and FX, a chain for processing the device entire audio output. So you can apply some audio effects, reverb, pitch shifting, and so on. As with all instruments and audio effects or devices in Pitvik Studio, if you select a device here, you can find more information or options on the left side in the inspector panel. For instance, here we can select multiple voices. So in this moment, the Polysynth has 12 voices, uh, polyphonic. You can pull this down to monophonic, so now it's a monophonic synth. You can also switch it between two monophonic mode. Um, and when you hover over these buttons, you can find some more help. So monophonic playback with only one voice active. And Digi is basically monophonic playback with two alternating voices. Envelopes will be always re trigger from zero and so on. There's also a voice stacking feature where you can use then the voice stacking modulator. And you have some information here of how many voices are active. You can also select your different triggering modes. Um, so each time you trigger a note, um, how the polysynth behaves. Uh, still the same key. So when you press multiple times the same key, um, you can say, don't create a new voice. I want to have still this one voice active. And um, yeah, you can change this here basically. So. Don't forget the inspector panel. It's pretty important for most of the devices so you can find additional informations and options here. If you need some help or some tips and tricks for how to use this device in real life or some practical examples, then there's a link in the description below you can use to my other channel where I have a lot of different tutorials and how to approach making music with the Polysynth.